And the main thing they're trying to do here is get everyone to use electric cars. In in Europe, see that right after the trade or around the same time. Let's see where is it? The euro was introduced to world financial markets as an accounting currency in 1999 and launched as physical coins and banknotes January 1st, 2002. It replaced the former ECU at a rate of 1 to 1, European Currency Unit. Right after the trade towers, they launched the euro. And then they had the European Union, and the European Union... Um, Is one of the first things they do just institute a bunch of uh, controls on emissions and uh, necessitate the use of basically the rules that are properly astringent to force people to use electric cars or hybrids. And you know, Al Gore had his film, and then the gas prices were squeezed by this uh, stock market. Um, some, here's a couple of odd things um, that happened uh, for an unknown, unknown reason Abdul Aziz Al Omari and Mohammed Atta two of the people who drove one of the jets in the trade towers traveled to Portland, Maine the night of September 10th they boarded a flight to Boston at 6am on September 11th connecting to the plane they would ultimately hijack because of this, within hours of the attack, the FBI was able to determine the names and, in many cases, the personal details of the suspected pilots and hijackers. Mohammed Atta's luggage, which did not make the connection from his Portland flight onto Flight 11, contained papers that revealed the identity of all 19 hijackers and other important clues about their plans, motives, and backgrounds. They say it was for an unknown reason. They traveled to Portland, Maine, and made the connecting flight to Boston. Why else would they do it? Except that they wanted their luggage to be held up and found. So the FBI would find it. And know who did it. Or who they wanted to think did it. Or maybe some of the people who did it and make sure they didn't look for the domestic help. Now an odd thing, Mark Lutz lives less than two hours from Portland. In Arano, Maine. Maybe they were visiting him. It's very possible. I mean, they went to Portland the night of September 10th, and they didn't board the flight to Boston until 6 a.m. Gives them plenty of time to go to Mark Lutz's and then back. Uh, this from the FBI's website of Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, you know, the guy who supposedly masterminded the plans. During interrogations, Abu Zabaida and Abd al-Rahim al-Nashiri were more reserved in their praise of Sheikh Mohammed, resist, uh, suggesting he was less creative or hands-on, but served as more of a synthesis of ideas from other others, which you know falls in line with my idea that Bob Lutz uh, trained him or came up with the attack scenario and timed it out. Um, strange thing uh, about Switzerland, the Swiss, which uh, both Mark and Bob Lutz are Swiss citizens, and uh, John Peterson, who owns Axiom, or not owns, but is part of Axiom, uh, is also Swiss. An unusual number of international institutions have their seats in Switzerland, in part because of its policy of neutrality. The Red Cross was founded there in 1863 and still has an, its institution centered in the country. Switzerland is not a member of the European Union. The Swiss people rejected their membership in a referendum in the early 1990s. Switzerland is one of the most recent countries to have joined the United Nations in 2002, even though Geneva is the second biggest center for the United Nations after New York. And Switzerland was a founding member of the League of Nations. The International Olympic Committee is located in Lausanne. The ILO is based in Geneva. So, uh, the United Nations 
Uh, they just recently, in 2002, joined the United Nations. Strange. But they're not part of the European Union and haven't adopted the Euro. Why is this? I mean, the United Nations is the military organization. The European Union is the political or, you know, and economic. Did Switzerland want to remain independent economically, yet have more political influence by joining the UN? It certainly doesn't make sense as far as their idea of military neutrality. Okay, in 2001 in August, the Swiss franc exchange rate to the US dollar was 1.6808. In April 2008, it was 1.0126. You can check out uh, www.lutz.com. It's awful strange. I'm not sure if it's pertinent, but it is odd. Uh, if anyone wants to hack into it, go for it. I don't know how to do that stuff. I wish I did. Um, yeah. Reject.